Hello YouTube land, this is Jeremy from the Practical IT channel. In today's episode we're going to install another turnkey Linux appliance. This one is a Mattermost server. For those unaware, Mattermost is an alternative to Slack and Riot and other chat servers. And it's something that you can run on your own network on your own equipment or in the cloud so without further delay let's get started i've already started through the process of setting up virtualbox for this and all we need to do at this point is click the start button and since this is going to be very close to our other turnkey Linux installs that we've done, I am going to blast through this and we'll come back when we have the screen up that shows all the IP address information and we'll get logged into our Mattermost server. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. We are back with the continuation of our video. As you can see on your screen, we have our appliance services. Mattermost is on 172.16.74.236. This was automatically assigned by DHCP. And so let's bring up our browser and take a look at that real quick. We'll fire up Chrome for that. All right, connection is not private, blah, blah, blah. And okay, turnkey matter most. And so it it prompts you to create a new team. And we'll call the team Practical IT and say next. And so the team URL is going to be the IP address followed by a slash and Practical IT. So we'll say finish. Welcome to Mattermost. And it walks you through a tutorial options for downloading different desktop clients and we are all set so i have installed the mac client so we will get this signed in mattermost practical it And that's saved. And so we can go ahead and click, double click on that to connect. Do you trust the certificate? Yes. We're just testing at this point. And username, jump back over here. And we are going to see about Adding some users, manage members, and so it just has admin. And so we can poke around this a little further and add members to team. Add members, user A, add Okay, so that doesn't allow us to just add them. 
create new team, leave team. So team settings. Allow users. Allow only users with a specific email domain to join this team. Allow any user with an account on this server to join team. We'll change that to yes for the time being. Since this is just a demo server, invite code. And we're going to just make the invite code YT demo and save. And let's go back over to our Mac client. We'll close that. Uh, let's see. Okay. So it's not going to help us. All right. I've got things figured out now. So to add users, there's actually a couple ways you can do it. And you can use direct invites. You can use a team invite link. So you can get an invite code. So team settings general and then invite code. Or you can add someone to your team. And so obviously since this is a brand new install, we don't have any members to add already on the system. So we're gonna use the invite code method. So we're the admin right now. So if we go to our menu here and we want to do get team invite link, we'll copy the link and close that. We'll do it from here. This is why it's nice to have multiple browsers on your system. So we're going to do email address. And click create account. And I'll say not now. We're going to skip the tutorial. But as you can see, I'm now logged in as me. And I can say, hello, admin. And then if I pop my other window up, And it should pop up over here. It got gave me a notification. So Town Square and my Jeremy user said hello to the admin. So again, from the get team invite link, you can copy this. You can send this out to members of your team and then you can have them join up. They'll get that form. They'll fill it out. And then you can have people on your little server. So I'm going to jump over to my splash top. We'll jump on my windows machine here. And we'll install the client over here as well. When we last left off, 
we were fighting with my Windows laptop and trying to get that set up. I stepped away for a little while and came back and lo and behold, I did get that set up. So we've got a new username, Linux man, which was one of my old handles dating back to early 2000s. Um, so now we're able to carry on a little conversation. So I've also added a private channel here, the demo channel. And if we go into that and click on the link at the top, the arrow, we can go to add members. And as you can see, uh, both my Jeremy and my Linux man um, IDs come up and we click add and then we can carry on a conversation in the demo private channel. And then if we jump back over to the Windows machine in Mattermost it'll show up that you've got one message waiting in the demo room. And we can talk back and forth. So, um, that's the basic setup and configuration of the Mattermost turnkey Linux server. If you're planning to use this for an internal use, uh, this is about the level you'd have to go to do the basic setup to at least get you started for a proof of concept. If you're going to be using it on the public internet, you would absolutely want to have a different SSL certificate set up. And you would want to make sure your updates are on and that you've gone through some additional hardening of the Linux system. Again, with the turnkey Linux appliances, this is based on Debian. There is plenty of information out there on how to harden Debian distributions. And you should go ahead and do that. But for the purposes of our demo today, this gets us to a wrap point. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications. If there's some particular part of Mattermost you'd like to see demoed, or if you have questions, leave them below. I will do my best to answer questions. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.